Hi and welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're watching today. I pray that the time that you spend with me will lift you up and motivate you to take action. I want to talk to you today about some of the biggest barriers and obstacles that you must overcome. You know they say that the only reason we fail is because of broken focus. So it's going to take extreme focus for you to achieve something significant as you might as well know for you to go to the next level and for you to achieve the dreams and the goals in your heart keep in mind that you have an enemy that works tirelessly to distract you and get you off course no matter who you are you'll be faced with distractions so i want to mention some of the most common distractions that the enemy uses on everybody number one is time looking at how much time is taking for you to achieve your dreams and goals. You know, a lot of times you can, you can look at other people and think, I am so behind. I have so far to go. Look how fast they have achieved their dream. Look how much time I have wasted. Look at how much time I've missed. I am really, I'm already still so behind. I might as well give up. The enemy most definitely will use time to distract you, to get, to give up. Remember that God is not done with you. So you must keep moving and focus on your destination. You know, they say even the snail made it to the ark. No matter how long it's taking you to, uh, to get to the next level, keep going. No barrier, big or small, should prevent you from going after your dreams. You know, I read a story of a man called James Dyson. He went through 5,000 experiments, and he used up all his savings to achieve his little goal of making a vacuum cleaner. Can you believe that? So they say on 1,000, I mean 5,127 prototypes, that's when it worked. And today, the Dyson vacuum is the most sold vacuum cleaner in the United States. James could have said, so much time has gone by, I might as well give up. So don't you ever let time be an obstacle to keep you from going forward. You know, it took, it took 40 attempts to create a perfect formula called WD-40, which I happen to have. You know, some of the users of this WD-40 is, it stops quakes, it removes and protects, it loosens uh, rusted parts, it frees sticky mechanism, it has so many uses. But it took 40 attempts. That's when they got it right. So WD-40 is the name straight out of the lab. It stands for Water Displacement, the 40th Formula. Today, they say, Four out of five Americans use this formula. So don't let time stop you from moving forward. Perhaps you're thinking, I'm in my 40s, I'm in my 50s, I'm in my 30s. Why even bother? It's late in life, you might think. You know, you may, uh, maybe your age is a constant reminder how little you've achieved. You know, don't let time and age, and I'm going to talk about the number two obstacle, which is age. Don't you let it hinder you from moving forward. Do you feel that you've missed your golden opportunities because of your age? Sometimes you look at people who could even be half your age and you think, look, they have achieved so much. Look how old I am. I might as well give up on my dreams. Sometimes I hear 25 year olds say, I'm so behind. And I say to them, Stop it. You're still a baby. Do you know how many years you have left? So don't ever let the enemy tell you you're too old or you're too young to hold or execute a dream that God has put in your heart. You know, at 84, Mzee Murage, a Kenyan, started his, form his formal schooling. He said, I was shown by God to go to school because I wanted to learn to read the Bible. He also said, I wanted to see where this school thing will take me. No doubt that dream took him places that he would have never imagined. He boarded a plane for the first time and he was headed to New York and he had the opportunity of a lifetime that many of us have never had to speak to a United Nations station. And a film has been made about him 
And in January 2015, Google celebrated the 11th anniversary of his first school, first day in school, by displaying a picture of him on Google homepage. You know, it's such, such a big deal, such a big deal. So don't let age be an obstacle to your dreams. Stop, stop looking at the years that you've lost and let's look at the years that, you've le that you have left and do something about those years. You know, Sam Walton was 44 when he, when he founded Walmart. And Walmart is now the world's largest company. Walt Disney was 53 when he opened Disneyland. It took Noah Webster 22 years to publish the Webster Dictionary. 22 years of work. So don't let time or age stop you from your dreams. My third and last point is words. Words that have been spoken over you. You know, somebody said that words are like loaded gun. They have power. And if you allow them to affect you, or your destiny, you're going to miss out on the plan of God for your life. So don't ever allow someone else's opinion of you stop you from doing what God told you to do. You have to make a decision and say, I don't care what people say about me. I don't care how they define me. I'm going to do what God put in my heart. So listen to this next couple of stories that I think you might recognize some of the names that I'm going to talk about. And I hope they inspire you. What if they had allowed words spoken about them stop them? Elvis Presley, who after he sang, the manager of Opry, Opryland in Nashville, came up to him and said to him, you won't be staying here again. In fact, you're better off going back and go back to your former job of driving trucks. Guess what? It is estimated that more than 1 billion Elvis Presley records have been sold worldwide. What if he listened to the words that others said about his singing? Harrison Ford was once told by a movie executive in Hollywood that you simply do not have what it takes to be a star. And Harrison Ford today is considered one of the highest grossing actors of all time. And listen to this woman's story. She said, I took an English class and I got an F, and I mean F or fail. And she said, my English teacher told me in front of everybody in class that you are the weakest writer I've ever met in my life. And she told her that I suggest you get a desk job and I recommend that you never speak in public. That, woman's, that woman is Lisa Nichols, who has written seven best-selling books and speaks and motivates masses today. She speaks in public for a living. So don't let what other people think about you become your reality. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I decided to record outdoors. I want to thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel under Shako Ituya and like my Facebook page. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.